Welcome to my 30-day world, an exercise where in 30 days, we're all going to share about our homebrew worlds. Our homebrew world of Dragon Grin is what we're going to be talking about today. My 30-day world is brought to you by the Dead Man's Guide to Dragon Grin Kickstarter. Um, back it. It's live right now. You can find a link in the description and uh, you can hear more about Dragon Grin in these videos. James, what is today's question? Today's question is, what is the cosmology of your world and the other planes around it? It's a pretty good one. You want to well, to it? start, I'm like, we, we have a few sections of this because our world has a few specific planes. Yes. Uh, in yesterday's video, we talked about the whale and gray. That's kind of one area. Sure. Um, so let's start with planes. We know there are a couple. Uh, before we go cosmology of like really big, we'll go planes. Okay. So what are some of the planes in Dragon? So I think it's important to note this. Prop planes, passenger planes. Yep. <laughs> Twin eng, turbs. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, in a lot of D&D realms, there are many, many, many planes. The plane of air. And right. The plane. A lot of those things. Uh, for us, we have kept it fairly limited because we are trying to use umbrella planes that sort of house some of the other planes. Um, so stop me if I'm doing the wrong ones and you were looking for other things, but um, we have a place called the Desolation. This is effectively our Shadowfell. And that would kind of house any of the other nasty planes that you're thinking. That's like, think dark, bad plane, the Desolation. Somehow worse than Dragon Grid already is. Right? It's toughy, but it manages. Uh, second would be uh, the Famists. That's essentially our version of the um, Fey Wilds. Fey Wilds. I was going to say the Shadow Fey. Um, so those are the two main ones. Yeah. Those are like Dragon Grin is Dragon Grin. Right. There are those stuff kind of seeps in, but okay. Right. So the Prime Material Plane is yeah. Dragon Grin That's proper, like, okay. which is encased in something where its time has slowed down right outside of it. Uh, and that's probably the basic cosmology. That's exactly. Um, but then we have sort of the the world. The I don't know what you want to call it. The even further of Arbitron. Yes. Which is um, other worlds outside of Dragon Grin uh, that exist, and these would be the other worlds that at Absolute Tabletop, our publishing company, uh, we also have. Yes. The important thing is, especially in Dragon Grin these would not be accessible due to the time problems and the Chrono Lich that is the Dismembered Lord and all of this. So um, for our world, it matters a little bit less. Uh, but one of the interesting parts is these worlds all uh, share the same sort of suns and moons, yes. whatever they are. So yes. um, it's kind of an interesting thing that ties them together. And as a, it's a framing device so that all of our campaign worlds can live in the same universe. But it also, I thought, was kind of cool in one of our previous videos, we talk about the bleak. Think of the bleak as like this big cosmic soup that is housing all of these little worlds within it. That's also what makes it difficult to get from one to the other. Because one of the things we didn't want was for it to feel like it was too easy to jump from realm to realm. Yeah. There's a little bit of a cheese factor there. So the bleak offered a really cool thematic and built-in way to shape the cosmos you can get from, say, Ankea or Aranoth to Dragongrin, but it's at risk. You have to travel through the bleak. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the overall cosmology. Yeah. Would you say? Um, what about yours? And, you know, in your realm, is it easy to traverse the cosmos? Or are there none? If you're running a historical fantasy setting or something like that, very curious to hear the answers. A Dead Man's Guide to Dragon Grin, our campaign setting book, is live now on Kickstarter. We would love for you to consider backing the project and bring it to life. We also want you to be involved in the My 30 Day World project. Not only does this allow us to tell you and everybody else about our world, but it allows you to do the same. But on whatever social media channel you're on, just tag it with the My 30 Day World hashtag. Participate. You don't need to worry about doing all of them. Skip a couple days. Pick the ones you want to do. Don't limit yourself. It could be a tweet, a Facebook post. It could be a blog post, a video, a live stream. Whatever way you want to participate, participate. Build your world and share it with us. Thanks so much.